So uh, the entire design language of the house is not the ones that you find it all around the, the neighborhood. It's not very contemporary looking. We've uh, tried achieving a very rustic and an earthy palette. So it gives that play of uh, forms as well. So that was maintained. So Anugraha is basically a house that blends tradition with modernity. Hi, I'm architect Jayesh. I'm architect Joshna Marin Thomas. We are from Defining Space Studio. The client is basically from Kundapur. He wanted his house to be covered. At the same time, he wanted to have things happening inward. So he was more interested in what areas were coming inside. So we played our own thing where we could do better, where we could avoid. The site is located in south of Bangalore, which is one of the oldest planned localities in Bangalore. The plot is of south facing. It's a 30 by 50,500 square feet area with a built up area of 4,800 square feet for a family of four. So it's a G plus three uh, residential project, which is covering up to 4,800 uh, SFT. This is the access to the site and the staircase to go to the first floor. From the ground floor and you reach the first floor and this is where you enter the living. Right now we are at the living room. This is the first space that you uh, see once you enter the house. The tea clovered windows are adding on to the openness of the living room. The TV unit that you see in this house is um, not your regular TV unit. It's something that we've designed along the staircase. So you see a, a combination of fabrication and teak. You have dry landscape here and you have a cutout to have a vision towards the main gate and the landscape outside to block the front side uh, vision. The interiors is uh, done in such a way that it just blends along with the exterior. So we've just used the concept of less is more where you don't find very prominent uh, interior features but it's just part of the space is designed. This becomes the heart of the building which has a puja room on northeast and this is the dining area. Dining is a single height uh, cutout area which open to the uh, second floor. The puja area being in the heart of the house, we've um, ensured that it's double height and with a skylight on the top. The area where the idols are placed are um, highlighted by uh, marble arches. So uh, the heart of the space has been interconnected with some landscape. Being an ambivert house, we've achieved this through our design elements where we've included a lot of indoor landscape courtyards and uh, you find a pocket of green, almost like multiple courts. Then you have an open kitchen and you have a guest bedroom here. So as we take the stairs to the second floor, this is the service core with the lift and the staircase. This is the master bedroom with a soft curve brick wall. We have a balcony here. The balcony purpose was to have a visual connection which is happening in the main door which is below and when you stand in the front you have a visual towards the road. On the other side you have the kids zone. The Both the spaces are connected with a bridge this is the cutout and this is the puja double height space with a study room in the northeast. Presently we are at the play come study area. So here we've designed it in few levels so that it's a play of curiosity for the child. In the storage unit we've uh, played with different forms so that it creates a sense um, of interest for the child. 
and neutral colors were mo- mostly picked we didn't want it to be like uh, reflecting like it's a kids room so it has to just go with a lot of colors it's a very muted palette we've got uh, wooden flooring uh, wooden open um, storage units and so on when we go to the third floor this room is same as below the master bedroom but we have a window which is overlooking the garden below the other side of the service court we have the terrace the terrace was divided into two zones the covered and the open to terrace here we had a four columns supported with jali with a shingle roofing the terrace was open with the plantations so we used some granite seatings the client is basically from kundapur so his roots made us to explore the materials like wire cut bricks laterite cladding material and uh, jali those were the initial design principles that we incorporated in on the stages of design so the major challenges of this compact site was light so we try to achieve that through the roof and the front facade achieving whatever he asked for like that's the um, natural light and ventilation and the greenery all this was achieved as an ambivert house because anywhere that you look in you would find a pocket of green never thought like yes we will stick to it it's evolved uh, along the thing and also for the fact that since we are a design build firm we have the liberty to do it